Okay, this one's for Corey. Got your President Grant done. And of course, we have the DVS VFO and we have the digital S meter, which is kind of cool. Um, I think this video I'm going to show more about the S meter just for the fact that we don't do that many of them. Not a lot of people are requesting them. And, uh, you know, there's a million uh, videos on the DDS VFO and how to use it. So I don't think we have to go through too much of that, but we'll do a little bit. Um, first of all, on the S meter, uh, your local DX switch right here um, is your meter switch. So this one right here. And it used to be a locking switch, a toggle where you push it in, then you had to push it again to have it come out. Now it's a momentary switch that lets you control the display. So you come in here and you hit it once and it changes the display. Hit it again, hit it again, hit it again. You know, there's different little, little uh, meters you can use. Voltmeter, um, signal meter with S meter, voltage also. Um, and back to that. You can invert the display. There's a couple other things. You look in the instructions and you'll see how to do that. So the S meter is pretty cool. It works pretty good. Smaller a little bit than the original meter, but hey, if you're going to digitize your old unit, you might as well go all the way, right? <laughs> Looks good. Okay, um, real quick on scanning. This is your scan switch, your PACB. When it's in PA mode, when you're scanning, it'll stop then it'll continue, but if you key your mic or hit your encoder knob, it'll stop scanning. This will also start your scan, and you can leave it in either auto scan or regular. So let's go to regular scan by just pressing it once and then pressing it again. So pressing it once, it starts it. Pressing it back in puts you on auto scan, so it's kind of dual function. There might have been someone there talking. I had the volume down. But anyway, you see how it'll stop. I don't think it's time for the truck drivers to be going through. I think they're all... Well, I, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> so somebody's on there. Anyway, but it'll stop scanning and, and it'll do that. And it'll go on and keep running. If you are hitting your push to talk on your microphone or you hit um, this button, it'll stop where it's at. And it'll just stay there forever. It'll never start scanning again. That is normal mode, which is in the PA mode. Now, automatic mode is like this. When you go out to CB, it does the scanning of the group. And the group of channels I have is, I believe, 6, 25, 40, and 19. Um, it's scanning that group, and it'll stop, and it'll restart just like the regular scan. But the cool thing is, if it stops on a channel that you want to have a conversation on, you just go ahead and key your mic, you talk back and forth, and when you're done talking and hang up your mic, then it starts scanning again. So you don't have to push any buttons. Let's say you're driving and you just don't want to be looking at the radio to push buttons. You can keep it an automatic scan. And again, it's just so that you can key your mic, talk back and forth, and it'll start scanning again. It really helps out quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of scan features. Again, you can make a group of channels. You see here it says group. And uh, that, that can be up to 100 channels to scan. Um, I don't know, I guess somebody might want to scan that many. I have a few favorite channels in my area, uh, four or five, and it's way more than enough for me to scan. Um, you can also have a priority channel, and the priority channel is one that it'll always look back at. Even if it's scanning, even if it's doing something, it'll always look back at that priority channel. And uh, that's kind of cool, kind of like a scanner has. Um, you have the group scan, you have all channel scan. All channel scan uh, is in the menu, and it does exactly what it says. It just scans all the channels, right? And uh, if you have a whole bunch of channels uh, set up in here, then it, it doesn't take long. Um, it's like a scanner. It goes through them all really, really quick. But if there's a lot of skip and stuff like that, it's going to stop on a lot of stuff. So, like I said, I kind of, for me, eh, you know, just a few channels, that's good enough. All right, well, I hope you love the radio, and uh, it should be on the uh, big brown truck tomorrow. Please subscribe and like to our channel. DDSVFO.com is where you want to go if you want to look at this and see more videos. You can do that or here on the channel. And I just hope everybody has a great weekend when it gets here. Off to make more DDSVFOs. Bye, all.